hello amazing family welcome and welcome back to my amazing space on the internet it's your girl evelyn ambrose recording from abuja in nigeria if you're new to this channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much it means a lot to me and i really appreciate it if you're new to this channel then you may consider subscribing because here i try my best to encourage you in your walk with christ kindly give this video a like now or at the end of this video if this video made sense to you today i want to share with you a powerful way i used some 35 and a bottle of water to chase enemies away now if this sounds like something you're interested in then let's get right into today's video just like i mentioned earlier i want to share with you a powerful knowledge of psalm 35 that was shared with me some years ago and ever since then my life changed for good and because it has done wonders in my life i want you to also partake in the wonders of psalm 35. now in order to do this i need you to get a new bottle of water something like this i'm sure you can get this from any part of the world get a bottle of water that you can drink immediately as soon as you have that water you're going to head over to your bible open to psalm 35. now the essence of using this psalm is to call upon god to fight for you i'm sure a lot of you have benefited from the powers in the words of psalm 35. It is a very powerful psalm for protection. It's a very powerful psalm to fight any battle that you are in right now. Today we are using this psalm because we are calling upon God to fight against those that fight us. To fight those sending arrows to us. A lot of us are facing so many kinds of battles in this world that we don't even know where it's coming from. Some people are just wicked they don't want to see somebody progress they've made it a point of duty in their life to sit on the progress of others and a lot of people are suffering this they enjoy watching others suffer they enjoy harming others they want to see you remain in that low level that you are in right now and the thing is that these people you don't even know them or in some cases, you know these people because they are very close to you, which is the most painful part. That's why you find out that even after trying so many things, so many businesses, so many good ideas, instead of going forward, you're going backward. It is not ordinary. My dear brothers and sisters, it is time for us to open our eyes to ask God to open our spiritual eyes because this world is spiritual. And in order to be ahead of the enemies, you must be fully protected under the shadow of the Almighty. And you can do this by using the words of God in the Holy Bible. The Bible makes me understand that God honors his word more than his name. And that is why Psalm 35 is the perfect prayer weapon to fight against enemy that is fighting you this powerful psalm of protection which is psalm 35 is said to return back to sender everything that the enemy wishes or plans towards you they don't even need to act just the thoughts in their mind can be reversed back to them Somebody can just be sitting down. Let's see how she's going to get that job promotion. Let's see how he's going to get that job promotion. Why is her husband not chasing her? Why is this? Why is that? Just the thought is enough for God to begin to act. Because any evil plan that an enemy has planned towards you will not come to pass. As long as you believe that God is there to fight for you. As long as you believe in the words of Psalm 35. God will surely fight for you. Anyone that says you will not have peace in your work, in your business, in your career, in your marriage. That person too will not have peace. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Trust me. After doing this with Psalm 35 the results will shock you and I'll be waiting for you in the comment section to hear your testimonies it won't take long before God begins to fight for you the only thing I need from you is to have a pure and genuine heart you don't want to be the one doing evil 
towards somebody else. No. God is a just God. Our God is a righteous God. And he fights for those who truly needs his help. Remember, God sees the heart. So he knows what your thoughts are even before you say it. And you cannot deceive God. If you truly desire God to fight for you, then please make sure your heart is clean. Make sure your hands are clean. So having said this, let's quickly go into how to use Psalm 35 with the bottle of water to chase your enemies away and return their thoughts back to them. So the first thing is to get your bottle of water. You can get it from anywhere. But make sure it's a quantity that you can consume immediately, okay? It has to be new and unopened. And when you've gotten your water, you hold it with your right hand. Then you take up your Bible. Please, when I say Bible, I don't mean an ordinary Bible you just went to buy. No, your Bible needs to be holy. And by holy, I mean it must be blessed by an ordained man of God. And that is why I always encourage you to have a physical Bible. A lot of you will say, hey, you have your Bibles on your phone. No, get a physical Bible that has been blessed by an ordained man of God. Okay, so once you have your holy Bible, you open Psalm 35. Now, you are going to open your water, okay? So open your water. Keep the cover and begin to recite the whole of Psalm 35 into it. We are not going to read all, but I'm just going to read from verse 1 to 4. But make sure you read all. I don't want this video to be too long because this instruction, you need to do it immediately. You don't need to be wasting time on the video. That's why I'm going straight to the point, okay? Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. Back to sender. Your enemies will turn back in dismay in Jesus' mighty name. Don't forget, read the whole of Psalm 35. I just wanted you to listen to the first few lines of this psalm to know how powerful the words are. When you are done, you cover the bottle of water and keep. Don't touch it. The next day, that is day two, we are doing this thing for three days. You do the same thing. Hold the water on your right hand. Open it up beside Psalm 35 into the bottle water and keep. You do this again the third day. It doesn't matter the time. Anytime you are chance, do it. Morning, afternoon, night, anytime, do it. Get the water the third day. You open it and recite Psalm 35. As soon as you are done with reciting the psalm on the third day, shake this water. Shake it very well. And begin to pray begin to call on god wherever the enemy has gathered to destroy you cause confusion O oh lord in their camp cause confusion O oh lord in their camp begin to fight my battle O oh lord fight my battle fight against those who have planned that i will be down return every evil thought that the enemy has against me and my family O oh lord send it back to sender if they don't want me to be happy, they too will not be happy in Jesus' mighty name. You need to open your mouth and tell God what you have faced in the hands of the enemies. Cry out to God. Talk to God. He is your father and he is ready to listen to you. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. So it is not time to close your mouth. Because a closed mouth is a closed destiny. You are going to pray to God your Father in heaven. This attack on your life must end in Jesus' mighty name. When you are done, open it and drink. Finish up the water. Finish up the water. That's all you have to do. And just relax and watch how God begins to move in your favor. I'm saying this because it is so personal to me. Ever since I learned this, my life has never remained the same. God has indeed 
been faithful to me and I want you to enjoy that faithfulness of God too. All I want you to do is believe that your battles have been fought by God. Hold your peace. Watch God do the rest. Have faith in God. Trust in God and it shall be well with you. So I hope somebody is going to try this. If you are going to try this, let me know in the comment section because I'll be waiting for your testimony. Enough is enough. Please write in the comment section, enough is enough. Thank you so much, amazing family, for being here with me. I really love to share this type of videos with you and I'll be happy if you can join us in this family by subscribing. If this video made sense to you, don't forget, go ahead and touch that like button on your screen so that YouTube will push this video to more people. Remember, you cannot keep a knowledge to yourself. You need to share it to others so that they can also understand and learn what to do with this powerful sound. I hope today's word blessed you and I can't wait to listen to your testimonies in the comment section because I know that a lot of testimonies will come out after practicing today's video. Thank you once again, amazing family, for being here. And until next time, this is Evelyn Ambrose saying bye.